I woke up in such a good mood today. I've been having a horrible week. Sometimes the more you try to control shit, the more you get beaten down to submission and surrendering. And so that's where I'm at. You know, I'm surrendering to to life. I'm not stressing about work. I'm not stressing about my well-being. You know why? Because I know I'm taken care of. I know the universe has always had my back no matter how bad it looks. So there's nothing different about that now. But this is my newest addition and I think everybody should drink this, especially if you have gastritis or acid reflux or stomach problem. This is going to help you so much. And not only is it good for your skin, it's good for your gut health. It, it helps you digest. It gets it gets it moving, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I just do a little, like a shot of that. Okay, groceries today, what do I need? I wanna draw this idea that I had of an eye for a tattoo. I gotta go to the gym, I gotta take QB out. Tattooing has been slow and I'm taking this opportunity to really just like rest and get back to my other things. I need to stay busy. Sometimes how I feel like I'm living my purpose, but my purpose is also resting. And so that's what we are doing this week. We got a whole week together. Look at my hand jump boy. Good morning, hand jump. Like I didn't already come in and set up the camera to do that again. Ugh, <laughs> oh, so lame. Hold on, I gotta say hi to my baby. Hi, handsome. Oh. My kimchi and kattugi. Enoki mushrooms, yogurt every day. Ear mushroom. Haven't had this in a minute. Some strawberries, some blackberries, goat cheese with some more yogurt, sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, and then I restocked on my Polish Choice Vitamin C. Broccoli, cauliflower, cherry tomato, portobello and mushroom ravioli, baby carrots. Go in here, cook for the next few days. So normally I would be having my shot of apple cider vinegar first, but I'm gonna go on a walk later, so I, I'm not worried about my glucose spike. And I had a protein bar already, so. Mm. Bitch, I saw this shit at the grocery store. Three twenty-five for one avocado. Oh, I don't give a fuck how rich you are. If you're spending three dollars and twenty-five cents for one avocado. This is where Domino Sugar was created, and then this factory got like abandoned, and now they're turning it into like offices, a museum, and a store, which is actually pretty sick. I've been seeing this. Kibi, what do you think? <laughs> Alright, let's see. And you, if I do, girl, you caught me cheating. Tell me, tell me. I know you caught me cheating, but I don't want you to leave me, bitch. Be fucking for real. Jason Derulo. Anyways, I wanted to draw this eye. <laughs> Hopefully, I can get this done while the laundry's going. Jump scare. <laughs> These are my dishwasher detergent tabs. Fragrance free from Blue Land. I actually really, really like this because it cleans well, no plastic, free of dyes, no toxic chemicals. I've been having the biggest trouble with the fucking IRS, dude. I gotta deal with this later. Creating an LLC, I don't know if this will benefit anyone. If you create an LLC, sometimes people wanna jump into becoming an S Corp because if you become an S Corp, you pay less taxes because you don't pay the self-employment tax because you're technically paying yourself, so you're your own employee. But that means that when you're getting paychecks and paying yourself, there has to be a lot more other systems that you set up. You have to pay different kinds of taxes. If you're making a certain amount of income, it's worth it, but it's as a tattoo artist, I make different amounts of income. It's hard to set a set schedule of how much I pay myself, which created this whole confusion. And now I've been going back and forth with the IRS. Just if you're gonna create an LLC, operate as a sole proprietor LLC for the first maybe year or two. See how it goes. That's all I gotta say. All right, pick up USPS. I think they close at five. I gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. So it's on, so it's a gel, and apparently it's a lot stickier because this is what people use a lot, essential stuff. And it's a cream, but it's like a, a more watery cream. So sometimes when you use this and you put the stencil, it kind of bleeds when it's too wet. So I just try that. Time to go home. Mm. Currently getting ready to tattoo removal. I'm sorry. <laughs> what I'm about to do, y'all better appreciate. We got a little challenge with KBD. There are three challenges here. This one that I'm scared about is eating a 
spicy hot mama pickle. And there's a KVD hot sauce with some, <laughs> some spicy ass candy, bro. I'm scared. Heard about this shit. I am scared. I put on the good apple serum foundation. It's a little bit light for me. I'm testing the everlasting hyper. What is it? Everlasting Hyper Light Liquid Lipstick and it's called Queens of Poisons Metallic. I thought it would be fun to tell you guys a little ghost story. When I was younger, I would see shit or hear shit. Today, I'm gonna tell the one story that was like the first ever while I do this challenge. I wanna say I was like nine. I'm gonna draw out a little layout for you guys. The living room's right here, right? And my mom is sitting right here. I'm sitting in this corner right here. End of the living room where it becomes a hallway and it turns like this. And this is in Brazil. In Brazil, it's super, super common to have maids. So like I had a maid that used to live with us right where it turns. This was her room right here. And at the end of this room, this was me and my brother's room. Oh, that's gonna f It's just me and my mom at home. It's just me and my mom at home. It's actually kind of good. I'm looking at the hot sauce like, should I add some of this? For the fucking pot? Do one of these. So it's me and my mom, right? Um, I can't think. It's just me and my mom, right? How many times did I say that already? <coughs> the lights are off in this hallway, right? Corner of my eye, I just... <laughs> Something bright, like a light. The lights in the hallway are, are off. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to it because I'm so focused on this game. And so the lights are off. I don't know where I am. At some point, I started feeling like something was watching me. You know when you just like, get that feeling that something's watching you? <sighs> I'm in that. I'm, I'm in the corner. I'm, not, I'm looking at the fucking... No, I'm not looking. Ah! And so I look and I just see this tall, all white man, white. He's the color white. I don't know if he was like an angel, but I didn't feel threatened. But I just remember him staring at me. He was just watching me. We're just making eye contact for like literally five seconds. We're just making eye contact. He's just literally sta standing outside of my maid's room like this, full send. If I go to the hospital, KVD, I will be sending you the bill. Just kidding, but you guys should put a disclaimer on your PR box. I'm not gonna lie. So we're making eye contact and then he just starts walking. He starts walking into my room and the entire time his head is like turning, like just looking at me as he walks. And then he disappeared into my room. But when I think back, if I was my mom, I would have been like, adoption center, go. I'm like, mama, some man just walked into my room. <laughs> imagine. And I think she got scared. She was like, no, you're like, you're just imagining things. She was like, no, I don't want to go check. I'm scared. This whole time, I'm just like kind of dazed, not really phased by what's going on. Cause I'm just kind of like, I didn't really know what ghosts were. I wasn't scared of them. So I was like, a man just walked into my room. And so me and my mom, like, she grabs my arm and we're walking into my room like this. She turns on the light. <laughs> There's no one there. I feel like he was like a, a guardian angel or something. I clearly remember just a moment when we were staring at each other. The best way I can explain it is like, you know, in movies, that effect that goes like, vroom. they're in their own world and everything else goes slow motion and doesn't exist. That's exactly what this was. And I just remember being locked in and just, I literally remember it like it was yesterday. Like I will never forget how that looked and how that felt. I'm not gonna be finishing this. All right, so the lipstick is still there. Foundation still looks flawless. Granted, I haven't had it on for too long. I hope you guys enjoyed.